new meta-analysis, which involved a rigorous detail and inclusion of 16 different studies, have found that sauna bathing two to four times per week for about 30 minutes dramatically improves cardiovascular health. It reduces high blood pressure. It improves ejection fraction. It doesn't increase any underlying health conditions that would maybe worsen cardiovascular disease. In fact, it improves that even though when you go in the sauna, it does increase epinephrine and heart rate temporarily, you know, transiently, which then return to below baseline. So it's really important because, as we've talked about before, new NHANES analysis have found that about 92% of American adults and 96% of American men have suboptimal cardiometabolic health. This is a combination of poor heart health paired with poor metabolic health, meaning that they're at increased risk of developing and succumbing prematurely to death from heart disease and heart disease-related challenges. Moreover, we know that poor cardiovascular health worsens dementia and the cerebrovascular uh, system is related to the health of the, of the brain. So the healthier your cardiovascular system, your circulatory system is, it's good for your brain, it's good for your muscles. There was a recent study that found that people that do resistance training with a little bit of cardio actually build more muscle because the health of their cardiovascular system is nourishing the muscles. So I just want to read to you the title, Acute and Short-Term Efficacy of Sauna Treatment on Cardiovascular Function, a Recent Meta-Analysis. And so what they found is going in the sauna can actually reduce your blood pressure by five points. Okay, so that's pretty significant. You know, most people would say a drug is a success if it reduces your blood pressure by about 10 points. And so here you have a drug-like effect without the side effects of a drug. We know that, for example, beta blockers, we know that people that are on uh, thiazide diuretics, guess what? Yeah, those do lower your blood pressure, but they come at a cost, and that is increasing insulin resistance. And if we know that insulin resistance is the underlying cause of cardiovascular disease, that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. So this is a natural way that you can improve the health of your cardiovascular system. So please, I implore you, sign up at a gym that has a sauna. Start doing this after you exercise. If you don't have access to a sauna, we've shared research with you over the years that going in a hot tub is quite similar in terms of its main effect. Going in a hot tub initiates that same hormetic stress that is imparted when, on your body when you go in a sauna. So just getting hot somehow, it can be hot yoga. Uh, anything to that effect is going to increase that hormetic stress on your cardiovascular system possibly reducing your blood pressure, improving ejection fraction, and overall health of your circulatory system. Annotated and summarized. Easy to share with loved ones. The description below the title for this video has these summary points.